So you are, you actually, tomorrow, you are, yes. there's a conference you said that you're yes. going to, and you told me you're presenting yes. on, I think, two different topics. So I, I want to actually ask you about both of them. So one was on AI. Yes. You talked about, tell me, tell me about what you're doing with people tomorrow. Cause this is obviously a major conversation that's happening in education right now. Oh, it's, it's huge. What are you talking about um, with your group tomorrow? So our spin on the topic tomorrow is using um, AI as a research superpower Yeah. and using it in a positive way, not in an I gotcha way. Right. right? And if it's introduced in small pieces in all the classes, you know, in low stakes activities like a this or that by showing up some images of AI created things and versus non AI and you know talking about prompt engineering to really get that critical thinking to ask it the best questions so that it can get you started or, you know tone up tone down anything that you've already written using it in a way that's good yeah we, there's a this is gonna sound weird there. There is a, there's a South Park episode. <laughs> Isn't this start off great? There's a South Park episode and the, the, the animation is so terrible on South Park <laughs> and it's so minimal that they can actually do stuff that's really relevant and topical yeah. quickly, right? Which is kind of one of the benefits of the, 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 the animation being the way it is. And I'm going to ruin the episode, but they all the kids figure out chat GPT and they started actually using it to do their essays. And so they're just writing these high level essays that are just mind blowing. And the teacher, I think it's Mr. Garrison <laughs> is like, Oh my God, my kids are like writing these essays and I'm like having trouble keeping up. And then uh, basically his partner says like, Hey, have you heard of this chat GPT thing? And so he's using chat GPT to assess the kids not knowing that they're using GBC <laughs> to actually write the essays. Right. And it's just kind of like, there, there's benefit. And there, there's a video I saw, I can't remember. It's a, um, it's a YouTuber. His name is Minority Mindset. That's what his, uh, it's, I think it's Jasper Singh. He, it's his, his channel is called Minority Mindset. And he talks about um, AI being kind of like a second brain mm -hmm. and seeing it as something that not to overtake and replace the stuff that we're doing, but something that we can utilize to kind of help us in this space. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm actually about in the process of like writing a, a blog post about this. There is some benefits of this, but it's also, instead of like just jumping and talking about the AI stuff, I think it's really important for our schools or communities to say like, what are the basic things that we need to, to be able to do? Like, for example, if you use chat GPT, uh, you have to know how to read and write. I think that's kind of an important aspect. And that's like a basic skill that every kid should be able to do. Um, but you also have to know how to ask good questions, right? Yes. So th there's, those are elements of that too.